Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Saga Sunday. Today's Saga Sunday experiment in the Heisen Lab. Today, we are possibly... You know what? I'll upgrade that to hopefully. Finishing the Banner Saga 2. Um, I know we're close to the end. And we'll see if... I can overcome my natural sheetiness at this game. Uh oh, hang on. I'm doing a tap. Okay, no, tap's still good. Um, I can overcome my, sorry, my natural sheetiness at this game and most games in general to reach the end. So last week, we finally made it to Arborang, the end game. Um, at least we made it to Arborang with Alette and crew. Um, Rugga, the stupid asshole, governor of, um, that's not Borsgard, was it? Maybe it was Borsgard. Is there too. And we're about to have a meeting of the minds of sorts with, um, King Minolf. So that's exciting. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll, uh, let's get back into it. Make sure the sound level's good. Alright, so we've got two people to talk to before we go to the meeting tent. 14 days of supplies, that's pretty good. 30 renown. Might go to the heroes. Alright, let's talk to a Leo. First. The Scald is tying a dyed strip of cloth into his daughter's hair. But sends her off to play as you near. We've come all this way for war. With luck I might change their minds. And be the reed that would stop the wind. You've got a lyric for every moment, don't you? Of course. Plenty before us have been in similar situations and written about it. We only think our lives are unique. And if peace is not an option, is there a scald song for that? Plenty. But I'll tell you what I'd do. Save the families who can't save themselves. I can't imagine if my wife and children were left out here, like they don't deserve the same protection as others. Leo's words flood your thoughts as you walk away. All right, let's talk to. I think this is Skathak, not Roek. Yes, Skathak and Deirdre pace nervously, keeping their distance from humans, Varl, and other horsemen. Good morning, friend. Welcome to your to the beginning of your. Your week in exile, I can't think of any other way to put it. Roek patrols around the two a short distance away, nodding to you briefly. Is everything okay? Many mans, more than we know, live. You stop to look around at the thousands of tents in the fields and the hundreds of homes beyond the capital's walls. I'm from a small village. I'm not used to seeing so many people either. Maybe. Heard too big. So many mouths hungry. If some dead, more easy feed herd. That's dark. Skathak stomps the ground and says a few shrill notes to Deirdre before turning to you. Deirdre forgets we are not of same thinking with mans. If you think big herd is right, we will think big herd is right. Okay, well look at that. But what do you think is right, Skathak? The male horseborn looks up at Arborang for a few moments while swishing his tail in thought. I think Big Herd kick each other in small fields. Mm, I don't know if that's a, um, like some kind of a, a proverb or if he's just saying it's too big. He points to Arborang, small fields behind walls. You thank them for talking and offer them a few calming words before departing. Okay, so, um, I don't think I care about training, 
because I don't think we're going anywhere else. This is the end. Uh, let's go to the hero's tent. I've got 30 renown to spend. And I need to put a bro or sis in I kind of feel like I should promote this guy. Choose a second ability. Let's go. Forge ahead. Nah. Tempest. And... We'll just give him two willpower. How about that? I got it. I could promote him again. It's not going to happen. Um, and you know what? How much does it cost? 13? Mmm. 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 Nah. I'm going to save the renown. I might need it. Um. Oh, jeez. Let's go look at the market. Maybe they have a good item or something. No. Armor Perez. Eh. Eh. Not really. Okay. I guess we'll get the end game started. Let's go to the meeting tent. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Are we gonna be nice? We're gonna try and make peace? Or what? Before you head towards the large tent. Odd leaf stops you. Are you certain you're ready for what could happen out here, out there? Her worried look is infectious. Well, that's great. The king may be a decent man, but I doubt he's kept his throne by always following the rules. Um. I think that that'll just kick me back to where I was at. No, I think I'm ready. I'm prepared for whatever the king and clans decide. Let's go. I'm glad to hear the confidence in your voice, Oddleaf says. Just be careful. I'll be back here with the rest of the clan if you need me. You smile and make your way past the line of clansmen, marking the boundary of the peaceful bit. Alright. The voices coming from under the tent are loud and animated. Best we could. There's King Minolf. You've done well. I never thought I'd see my son again. Well, we've all had easier journeys. The king's cheerful mood lessens. He's about to say something when he sees you approaching. Who's this? Greetings, King Minolf. My name is Aleth, and I'm from Skogur. Ludin steps forward. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me take a drink. Got to get the Skeletor voice ready. Okay. <clears throat> Father... This is the Sander Slayer I told you about. Look at him with his little patchy ass beard right there. King Minolf glances at you and sighs. Son, you can introduce your pretty country girl later. You and Luden both turn red, but you temper your anger as the king addresses Hakon. It pains me to hear you've lost so many of your hardy warriors. Hakon, uh oh, excuse me. <clears throat> but tell me. Where's Yorinder's kinder? Vognir. Uh, Vognir died protecting your son. I was Vognir's kinder. With Yorinder's death at Einartoft, I'm king of the few remaining Varl. The king says nothing, contemplating the news. How did he not hear? I mean, that was pretty widespread. Your walls are the last hope for my people. No sense in denying it. I understand. And of course you'll have refuge here. The least I can do for bringing my son back alive. It'll be tight, but I'm sure we can find a place for you. King Minolf. Alette here is just as much responsible for the prince's safe return. She has quite a few clansmen. Careful, Varl King. This is the human capital, and my generosity is already stretched thin. Hakon looks at you at and shrugs. Oh boy. Tell me, girl, why are you leading an entire caravan of humans and horseborn? Why didn't one of the men take point? 
All right, here we go. <sighs> okay. So I think I'm going to try and play it nice but with a a strong forcefulness of um, making sure that I know I know me too with a strong forcefulness of I have, my people need to be taken care of right I think that's the route we're going to try and go so I think we're going to I think we're going to start with the top answer here. The clans trusted my father and learned to trust me. All of them? No. Some of them didn't like it, but some people didn't like my dad either. King Minoff watches you for a moment before chuckling. That's a valuable lesson learned. The sooner you realize you can't please everyone, the sooner you can get to do something worthwhile. Unfortunately, it doesn't change how many Arborang can support. Only now do you see Rugga, Dagger, and a few... Oh, I'm sorry, not a few. And two dozen fighters approaching. Ugh. The King's Guards look concerned. <sighs> Ooh, actual cutscene. Rugga, okay, brought a goat? Or a sheep? Mine off. I should have killed you when I had the chance. Oh, okay. We're taking a turn. You tried, remember? Did the Sunderslayer convince you to open your gates to your people? You will never enter my gates again. Oh boy, this is fun. I had hoped you died in Borsgard. How is it you've come to speak for all of these clans? The people you've turned your back on? Seems they needed a leader they could trust. Again, how have you come to speak for them? Did you fool them like the people of that rotten town you governed? Ooh. The, um... Skeletons are coming out of the... Out of the closet right now. The only fool here is the outnumbered king, believing he still has a say in what happens now. Don't make us breach your walls. We'll just have to repair them once we're inside. Mm. I don't think staying quiet is the answer. I'm going to point out the the approaching darkness. We're going to we're going to try and um, sow the seeds of cooperation, as it were. I doubt either of you will be in charge of anything when that darkness washes over us. Ooh, that's a good line. I think I, that's a good line. I've got the Volca and the Menders seeing to that inside. They'll come up with something. Ugh. Even if they fail, I'll still be able to watch this bastard fall to that darkness from my walls. Okay, well. There's the true heart of the Minoth I know. I'll let look at your people out there. Our people. They need food and clean water, not that poison in the river. They need protection. You cannot allow this king to keep us from safety after all this way. Mm. She doesn't have to. I'll find a place for the people under your banner, Alette. Oh boy. See? Here we go. A place inside the walls alongside the Varl. A place. This Fane man will not be allowed again. Never be allowed again, excuse me. That's enough. You, both of you are bickering like children instead of leaders. And you, giant, joining this king after all we did to keep your people alive. Traitor. Hagon growls and flexes his grip on his axe. Don't you fucking mess with Hagon. All parties look angry and tense, and then they look at you. Oh, great. <sighs> okay, so... My banner, my people are my only concern. 
Lega's right. Too many people will die out here for so few inside. I don't really know exactly what that means. And I do kind of think that Rugga is right. But Rugga's an asshole. And he already tried to kill me. So... And I think either way, we're going to get into a fight. So I'm gonna I'm going to take care of my people. I'm saying my banner, my people are my only concern. Good. I'm granting you and your people, even those horseborn, into my walls, but move quickly. Thought I taught you better, Alet. This isn't how you play the game. Which probably means fight. Okay. Rugga blows three quick bursts into a war horn. Here we go. You look back and see a fight breaking out along the defenses you built. Humans and Varl defending your camp. You hear Rugga swearing at his failed ambush. Without warning, Rugga pulls his cloak pin dagger and lunges at King Minolf, who shifts slightly, the blade only piercing his side. Before anyone can react, Rugga slinks behind his fighters who are charging you, Hakon, and King Minolf. Everyone to the walls, you shout. Protect the king and the Varl. Hakon nods his appreciation just before the clamor of war envelops you both. Alright. So we need one more. Hey, Canary. Hell yeah. Dang. She's strong. Aff, bro. Brenna's lock. Fallow's rebirth. Protects from death. Let's do that. She's definitely coming. Uh, no. Let's put her... Here, I think. And let me look at her ability. Pin. Oh, she's the javelin person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pins him to the ground. Nice. And poison tipped. Ho, ho, ho. Good morning. Welcome, Dragon Master. I know, I guess it is... A little after 8 in the morning over there, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't think about that. Well, welcome. This, as stated in the title, we'll see. I know we're close to the end, but we might uh, finish the game today. Alright, let's go. Let's see what, let's see how rusty I am after a week. Probably very. Also, I hope everyone's weekend has been going well. Sadly, it's almost over for some of us. Oh, these loading screens are a little bit too long. Okay, so. Let's see if there's some kind of gimmick here. Ambush. Mine off your wounded. Just a flesh wound. Though I feel, oh, is it a poison tip dagger? Son of a bitch. Okay. It's all good. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Okay, so what the hell? Jeez, they're all over here. Okay, no, there's one over here. Okay, so you start... I get... Mm. Okay, no, new plan. We need her over there. I think. Hakon's gonna come over here because he's big boy. Canary. We'll stick her kind of in the middle. Mogan over there. Alette stays back. Oddleaf. Back in the middle, I guess. And then Minoff is back here. Kingly Defense. Okay, whatever. I actually don't bet. I bet I'm not actually going to be able to control him. Okay, I think we're going to start that way? I don't like this. Real bro activity there. I don't know what that means. What's up, Dio? Long time no see, man. Y'all doing alright over there? Alright, let's go. So if I move her... Let me look and see who needs to be the target of the poison. 
Um, if I... Mm, who's next? Okay, Dagger. Ooh. Okay. Where's... Man, I can't get to Dagger anywhere. Okay, fine. Um, then I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here. Oh God, has he? Okay, well, it is what it is, I guess. Okay, so that's not gonna kill him. Ow, that hurt. Um, but then we move this here, give a give a good old fashioned tempest. All right, so he's dead in a couple turns. Resisted that. That's good. Rugga's even been recruiting Cragsmen. Okay, that's great. So... If I come over here... Who's next? A Backbiter Champion? And then another Backbiter Champion. So if I come up here... And then I do... We'll do Poison Tip on... Oh, I don't have it. Um, let's do Pin then. Shit, I can't. Um, ba -ba 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 balls. Okay, fine. Poison tipped on you. We'll do that. Okay, well, he's not dead. Bro activity for. Oh, okay. Oh, well, Halo, Halo Legendary Speedrun. Halo 1 through 5. Good lord. But still. So, even if it's just those five games, that's like two hours per game. That's insane. Okay, Hogan. Hogan is going to do one of these. There we go. That's pretty good. And that hurts. Hurts a little bit there. Um... Just standing there. Is he next? No, the Savage is next. He's poison tipped. So that's D -D -D Dagger, huh? I tell you what, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna attack you and just basically cripple this guy. There we go. That was rude. So now, Oddleaf is going to, hmm, I think we're actually going to back her, no, maybe not back her up. We're going to move her to here, and we're going to Reign of Arrows this spot three times. And just remember, don't run any of my people over that spot either, because then they'll, they'll die. Shit. That's a lot of armor break right there. Um, if we move her out of the way, then we poison tip you. He's dead. Oh, Canary's about to... Shit, she's only got one. Um, no, I don't want that. Um, I can't see anything. I tell you what, let's just come over here. Um, I don't think anyone's actually adjacent to him, so I don't know why we're gonna do that. So we're just gonna attack. Spend a couple, and he's worthless now. Um, if we move her out of the way who's next this guy over here is next I need to actually make sure let's go ahead and poison tip not you not you you before we die what's up man 
staying out of jail and getting awards. <laughs> oh my god, lots of skipping. There's a glitch in one of the levels. On one that despawns the entire map. Wow, that's interesting. How do they find all that crap? That's what I want to know. Um, you know what? Take them out. Awesome. Deflected. That's great. A let. Um. Who's next? One of these guys? Then Oddleaf. She's got Rain of Arrows right by her. Um. So from here. Not you, though. Oh, 80%. Let's go 80% for the kill. Let's go for it. Yes. Got him. Great shot of light. Okay, and he dodged that. Um, let's go ahead and move her this way. We're not going to rain of arrows. We're just going to attack this guy and break his armor. Oh, it's an axe thrower guy. Deflect it, quick. What the hell? That's insane. Um... There we go. So his next turn, he's dead. Although... Not move. Not that either. Stop moving. Tempest. Clockwise. From target. Yep, that's what I want. There we go. Um... I come over here and I do a pin. So that's going to reduce his movement. He's down. Um hmm. I do kind of want to get in there. 11, got 15. That's three. All right, let's do that. And we're gonna bloody flail this guy and see if we can get lucky. Oh, damn it. That sucks. Attack you. We got a kill. All right. Odd leaf. We'll back it up. Gotta, we have to take down the armor. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, Alette. Um, I don't know if he's dead next turn or not. 80%. Deflected. Yeah, 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 I know. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, good. He is next. So why don't we just come on over here. And just, you know, give him the old smack. Hogan's gonna take us home. 
That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Let's see the fallout from, from what that is. Okay. King Minolf regains his footing and, and falls back toward Arborang's walls as his forces rush past him into the fray. You wave the banner of Skogar and your clan surrounds you. To the gates, you shout over the clash, clash of axes and hammers on shields. By the time your caravan is inside Arborang's outer wall, the gate is mostly compromised. Rugga's forces are on your heels and they brought bears. Oh my god, they brought bears. Cut them off or they'll, over or they'll overrun us, shouts King Minolf before wincing and grabbing his side where Rugga stabbed him. Um. Ooh. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Do we charge him? Do we set up a thing of archers? No, so I think I'd be able to use the bears if I, um... If I sided with Rugga earlier, when I had the chance, instead of turning on him. But he turned on me first, so, you know, tit for tat and all that. Okay, so we charge him. We can set up automatic, I'm pretty sure it's automatic archers behind the barricades. Horseborn rush in and take out that bear master. And then, Hakon, can you stop them at the gate? So I'm torn between... Archers behind the putting archers behind the barricades and trying to send the horses in to rush at, to rush the bear master. Exactly. Now, I don't know if they've got any beats, but hopefully they don't have any beats because bears and beats lead directly and immediately to Battlestar Galactica, and I don't think we have the technology to defend against uh some against bsg so i think i think i want archers behind the barricades oddleaf and your other archers find protected positions and more arrows are laid at their feet she nods to you and the battle begins let's see how i did there can i pick my dudes again please Yes. Oh, she's only injured for one day. Awesome. Um, okay, so Oddleaf is gone. 12. Dun, 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 dun. What if... I think I want you... Are you the mule kick? No, he's trample. I don't like trample. I like your mule kick, right? I like mule kick better. So it's gonna be you. And you know what? Hogan did work. He earned himself a promotion. Stonewall or run through? Oh, hell yeah, run through. Yep, that's the one. And we're just going to what is this to resist strength damage bonus crit chance eh. um dodge bonus hit chance mm. puncture avoid armor attack what's up here hunker down Eh, that's not too bad. I don't really like any of those, though. So I think I'm just going to pump him with two willpower. So we can do more stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, though. Oh, I totally can. Yeah, let's, let's promote. We have pin and pin. So it has to be pin. And then for hers, we're going to, I think we're going to pump her damage. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm happy. Let's go. All right. Those stupid bears. <sighs> Maybe I should have sent the horseborn after the bears. Or the bear master, rather. I don't like bears. You have to cut through all of their armor. Bear. Well, you know what? That's true. Yeah, but, <laughs> but regular horses don't have poison tip spears and stuff like that. Okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get it figured out. Look at the bears. Okay. Alright, so there's Minolf. Look at all these. So, wh who's the bear master? Deirdre. She moves two tiles. So, she's up front. Roek is going to be here. I guess. Or maybe there. Hakon. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. She's another archer. The Hogmeister. Oh, Aletza. Oh, okay, so they're behind. Okay, Rugga's poison. Which doesn't tell me what that does. Okay, so my archers are over here. And then the elite guard. Okay. Let's go. Let's see what happens. When's the last time I saw a regular horse? What the hell does that... In... I don't know. It's... Protect the king. Kill the king. Okay. Well. So the question is, who's... The bear lord is next. We definitely need to get the bear lord. Dang, bro. All the way to there? Okay. Poison tipped on the bear lord. And hopefully that's a lot of armor that just got broken. So you're gonna come over here. We're gonna mule kick this guy. Not Hogan, or not Canary. Not Hogan, the Bear Lord. Kick him. And he's going all the way over there. But then we're gonna move you up. Here's what we're doing. Cause I said regular horses don't have poison. Oh, okay, jeez. It's fine. Okay, so that bear hurt pretty bad. Yeah, I need to get her out of there. And then there's another war bear. I don't think I want to waste. Well, maybe I do. Let's just go. And then we will in turn. Uh oh. Well, she got the poison on the. Uh... At least she got the poison on the guy. So the war bear. We got to take the armor down. can't do anything um okay so he can't go that way shoot um because we're trapped i don't think i want to send let's send hogan this way we'll in turn ouch so from here We're going to attack the bear, because we have to get those bears. The bears does much damage. Ugh, oh, come on. There we go. Minolf. So what the hell does he do? King's will. Sure. Oh, 
Okay. Does that look like a lot of nothing? I guess we'll send the elite guard this way then. He's got a lot of willpower. And he's stunned. Skipping turn. Great. Um... I tell you what, let's mule kick again. Not Hogan, this guy. And we'll move him over here. Uh oh. Stupid bear. There, okay, so I gotta watch out for that. Okay, so what we're going to do with Hakon is we're going to Sundering Impact the War Bear and smack him. That was good. That was good. Canary. Still got to take out the armor. That hurt. Um, Hogan is going to bloody flail this bear. There we go. There we go. Alright, his armor's gone. That's good. <sighs> Shoot. We need to... I don't want to kill the... Oh, God. Okay, let's not do that. Abilities are Thread the Needle. No. Overwatch. No. Let's attack the bear. There we go. That was good. Um... I get you know what we'll just rest we'll just rest Ooh. okay so it's only one turn all right let's send him up here we'll just stonewall it Oof, dead. Another Tempest. Yes, starting with the bear. Okay, one bear down. That's good. Canary. I gotta, I mean, we gotta take the bear. There we go. That's fine, I guess. Hogan is gonna try and kill the bear before... What the hell? I guess those were all armor hits. That freaking sucks. Um... I guess we'll put her on Overwatch. Nice. Alright, Minolf's gonna kill the bear. Ooh, that's bad. Um, let's 
Take down the armor. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do... I mean, we're basically dead. Hakon is basically dead. So we're gonna work on armor. Oh, he dodged it. That's rad. Canary. Okay, so I can just kill him. If we back it up. Poison tipped. There we go. So that's six damage. There we go. Alright, Hakon's down. Five damage to you. That's pretty good. The Savage. Okay, so she's gonna do a rain of arrows. Right there. We'll see how that works. Um... You know what? Oh, shoot. 50-50 shot, huh? We're taking it. Yes! <laughs> I'll take it. The elite guard is going to attack you and kill. We're getting somewhere now, boys. Okay, hold on. You're poisoned. So I think if I attack you... God, it's only 60% though. Here we go. We'll come over here. And we will attack you. There we go. Deflected. Perfect. Um, and Alette's just going to go on Overwatch. Ouch. Good one, Alette. So now the elite guard is going to come over here. He's out of willpower. We'll give him one willpower. Oh, right. 30%. Um, you know what? Stonewall. God, that guy has so much armor. Nice. And this is 90%. I tell you what. We gotta start getting the armor down on these guys. He's dead on his next turn anyways. Um, might as well. Just do something. I've got five left. Let's spin two of them. willpower yeah yeah so if we move one space away there's something god still 60% let's take it 
deflected. Okay, well. You've got 70%. Let's try it. There we go. Okay. We got it. Got him. Victory. Yes, we lost Deirdre and Hakon, but that's okay. Hopefully, it's okay. I guess we'll find out. All right. Reinforced gate slammed shut behind you while archers on the wall deliver death to those outside attempting to approach. Brave fighting out there, but you should... King Minoff is panting, embracing himself on a knee while grabbing his side where Rugga stabbed him. Yeah, he's poisoned. But you should know there is no plan for weathering this storm. His hand gestures to a great many things before he gasps and falls to a, the ground. Menders arrive and take him away. The closed gates, the stench of death, all of it threatens to turn your stomach and make you sick. I'm, I'm glad we're still alive through all of this, but... I know. We fought so hard to get here. For what? Even making it inside Arborang's walls feels hollow now. It wasn't supposed to be like this. We were going to save everybody. Oh my god. At least Hakon and the Varl are still with us. For now. Oddleaf's eyes look empty as you feel... Oddleaf's eyes look as empty as you feel as she slowly glances around. We got it. I can read. What now? Now, I'd really like to find some place to fall asleep and wake up to discover this was all a bad dream. Oddleaf nods her agreement. But we've got to prepare for Rugga's retaliation. He'll keep trying to get in. Ugh. Right. And then there's the darkness. Juno said we have to hold out until they finish what they set out to do. But how are we supposed to know when they finish? She said to hold on until the darkness breaks. Until the... They are going to stop that darkness themselves? They're going to try. And we're going to try and stay alive until they do. Oddleaf seems to take strength from your resolve. She takes a deep breath and her eyes focus on a man running towards you. Oh boy. Alette, the man yells, then gets close. You recognize him as one of your scouts. It's Tolier, he whispers. They're dead. Every one of them. Hoofprints all over the place, too. His words hit you and you scan the crowd. Unlike all the other fighters who are now resting, Canary and her horseborn are standing in armed ranks. They all look out of place. Oh, great. Yet confident. You even think you see their leader smiling. Ch chapter 15. This is the final chapter. In fear, quake all. Did those fucking centaurs just turn on us? Okay, back to Bulwark. No, Ivor. Even better. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, Manahar. God, this game is pretty. Uh, it did not need to come to this. What is happening? You, you killed her. Stop this, Avon. That's enough. Something's happening. You told me we would be in and out of here. This isn't in and out. We had hoped Valkadusi wouldn't be foolish enough to attack us. You hoped I would let an escaped prisoner and a dead Valka rob us without a fight? We hoped you would see reason. Reason, yes. I think you're right. What was your reason for breaking the world? You look at Juno, unsure of what to say. Mm, you didn't tell me all of this was your fault. Juno looks at you, but says nothing. You recruited Ingvar, and yet kept him ignorant of your actions? Juno, you're blocking... There we go. You're blocking the view, Juno. 
Even you have no idea what you're talking about, Ducey. Call it a hunch. I'm going to move it over here. But whatever is breaking this world stems from the source of our weaving. You, Juno, were sentenced to death for, for manipulating minds. You knew it was forbidden. Volca Ducey coughs, and small flecks of blood hit the stone floor. But you were helping Avon to... What? Become a god? Well, hang on. This is about Avon? Juno says nothing, her anger apparent. Become a god? This doesn't make any sense. And now this darkness. Avon, what did you unleash to bring her back? Avon gasps and looks strained. A few stones drop from the walls. Our cause broke council laws, but that does not make it wrong. You could have realized the importance of our work. You should have. And you two should have stopped. Stopped your curiosities when the council warned you. I like his tattoo. But Juno keeps blocking it. You'd still have your life. And each other. Do you even see what you've become? Juno's confidence vanishes at the question. You have never seen a Volca's tears until now. In the Varl, are you threatening to control his mind too? If I were you, Ingvar, I'd... The large door to Volca's hall shakes from a great impact, then shatters. Oh boy. Is it the snake? Not you, not now. Oh, boy. We will have our vengeance for something something. Bulver, get out of the way, dude. The floor and walls are now glowing, floating, and breaking apart. This is getting a little bit nuts. Another Volca enters the room. She looks concerned for the barely conscious Ducey and mortified by Juno. You lied to us. It's Zephyr, by the way. It is, I don't think it's... It might, it's not snack time, it's Bulwark time. You lied to us. Your oaths mean nothing. Bulwark's rage is consuming him, and he is spitting more than speaking. Is that Bellower's fan body? Not just his body, I fear. Bulwark's mind is not his own. Bulwark looks at you, and his eyes go wide before a cold hatred settles into his stare. We know you murdered Ray's and her child. <sighs> Why in the depths is Bellower's body here? He was supposed to... She's supposed to be dead. Killed by her own. I'm going to fix that. I'll kill her. And you. And him. And I'll pull out this damn arrow. And no! No! The fear in her voice is infinite. <laughs> Avon reacts to her by screaming, and the whole tower pulses with crackling energy, shaking violently. Ivor, I'll help Avon and hold off Ducey. Kill Bolverk. You're the only one who can. Bolverk growls deeply and stands to his full height, brandishing his axes. He looks stronger than ever. What the fuck is happening? Stay where you are, Ingvar. You step forward, but feel the air thicken around you for a moment, stopping you. Then it suddenly releases its grip. No, Zephyr. Now you will do as I say. The Volca Zephyr looks shocked by Juno's control, but you waste no time in charging Bulwark. You slam your head into him with tremendous force, sending him reeling across the room. What the fuck is happening? This was quite an escalation. So I guess it's bat boss battle time? The snake didn't... He didn't... Uh, well, I guess he did. Yeah, I guess you're right. He did say that. Hey, Bobo. Good morning. Okay. Why are you walking? I didn't tell you... Uh... I 
can't move. I guess we have to go. Um, okay. God, Ivor is so fucking strong. It's insane. What a beast. Um, I think I'm actually going to head this way. Of course, I can't see because the pillar's in the way. And we'll in turn. For all my people who fell to your schemes, you will pay. Okay. Okay, so there's definitely some Bellower action happening in here right now. All your people. Okay, Zephyr is under my control, but I think Bulwark is possessed by Bellor. Great. That is oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna waste any willpower until I get up to him. Rays and thousands of others will be avenged. Even just looting control, watch out for lightning. Okay. Um, then I guess we'll just come over. Ah, oh, it does make one. Okay, fine, we'll just come here. Watch out for lightning. Rays is the sunder that Ivor killed a shit zillion years ago. Ride Zephyr's Wind, a lightning strike might free Bulwark's mind. What? I guess. Here? Well, don't go all the way around. Jeez. Okay, so... Oh, I have to go all the way around. Uh... That's what it seems like, yeah. So, but the question is... Like... If I do that, am I gonna get hit? I feel like I'm gonna get hit. I guess let's just move here. Ah, shit. Oh, there we go. Did it work? Nope. Alright, let's go here. Ah, shit. Okay, this is not working. dodged it this time. Check it out. Pro. Pro strats. Of course, Ivor's almost fucking dead now. Bulwark, over here. Come on. Seriously? that one too. Can I just start this battle over? There we go.
I really think I'm gonna have to do this one again. Dang! Okay, I don't know how that worked. But it does seem to work. Apparently we don't need a mulligan. How the... How... Other than Ivor being the biggest goddamn hero in the history of the world. How did that hit do so much damage? I don't understand. God, Ivor's the best. That was the most clutch play. I think that's the most clutch play that's ever happened on this channel, ever. So there you go. Ivor. The roof of the tower is collapsing, along with the walls. Avon has clearly strained himself beyond his limits. Ivor, grab Bellower's body and bring it close. Juno shouts, we'll drop him into the vast on our way north. You do as you're asked, just as Avon loses control. Oh boy. Ooh, I don't know, maybe. In a flash, threads unwind. Oh boy. Our intentions gone. Our fates laid bare. We're forced to change. Pulled in new directions. Oh shit. For good or ill, we cannot know. How far do the echoes of our struggles reach? Good question. What can we expect from our efforts in this breaking world? Our answers. The reasons for our journey. Lay just beyond these walls. That's game. Wrong way. We did it. Would you look at that? Banner Saga 2.